Hello everyone. So today we are going to create a simple code pipeline. For that you need to log in into your AWS console. I have logged in as a user and I am in the Ohio region. So to create a pipeline, first you need to go to this service code pipeline. Now we will create a repository to store all our source code and uh, we will create this repository under code commit so just click on create repository i'm just going to type a name for my repository create now the repository is successfully created after that um, I'm going to clone this repository into my local system. So just copy. I'm going to copy this command here and we are going to do a HTTPS connection. You can also try SSH or GRC. Copy this command. I'm going to clone this here. My folder is now created. Now I will add all my files over here. So uh, as you can see, here is all my source code. This is a start server, stop server, then I have a YAML file. Over here, then I have an index.html file. So, this is a very basic application. Now, I will push the source code into my code commit repository. Here, I will push the code. So, for that, you have some commands. So, these are the commands. I will just do, I will just first go into my code pipeline folder then git add after that I'm going to do a git commit then git push all the source code will be pushed into the code commit repository as you can see here it is done here, if you see the code, all the code is present over here. Scripts, I have three files and then abspec.yaml index and a simple license. So, this is how you upload your source code into a code comment repository. So, we have now created a repository and also uploaded all the files using the git commands now step 3 is to create a ec2 instance we'll go into first we will create a role for our ec2 instance so for that go into im I will go into roles. I will create a role. This will be AWS service. And then I will choose CD. Now I have to add permission policies. We will um, search for this policy. We have it here. Just tick on that box. The another one is this SSM managed. We 
we'll just click on next we have the two policies here and this role for EC2 EC2 role for create role here you can see the role is now created just view if you want to view the role you can look here now we will launch an EC2 instance go to your EC2 management console instances and um, it should be in Ohio region where you have created the repository click on launch instance I will just write a name code pipeline demo choose a image I will choose this Amazon Linux it is prettier choose the instant type and then I will create a key pair The key pair will be downloaded now I have to create a security group. I will just do this my IP SSH traffic edit also add one more security group rule which is HTTP and it will be my IP one is the SSH one and another is HTTP storage everything and just go into advanced detail and click on the profile that we have uh, created so I believe this is the one that we created EC2 rule code pipeline and launch instance Let's view our instance. Now we will go into code deploy to create our application. Create application and write application name. Compute platform will be EC2 on premises, then create on application. After the application is created, we will go to create deployment group. Deployment group, right name. Service role will be the one that we created for deploy role. I have created this earlier. So if you don't know, just go to your IM or just go to your IM and click on roles, create role. Stop. We will select code deploy and then select this create next and then next so this will be created I have already created it for you so I am just going to use that one if you have not created you can just click on create tool and it will be created service role is entered now we will choose how to deploy our application we will choose in place and then click on environment configuration and it's on pc to install we will uh, give our key pair code pipeline demo this is the instance that we created
now and schedule updates and deployment setting keep it as one at a time and uh, uncheck this load balancer we do not need this this will uh, install the code deploy agent on our ec2 instance that we have created this is the deployment setting and then enter the key value of the ec2 instance that we created in place deployment type the service role that we created for the code deploy to grant permissions to access your instance and then this is the name now after that click on create deployment mode Deployment group is successfully created. Now we will go to create our pipeline. Go to code pipeline and then create pipeline. First pipeline, uh, new service role. Click on next. The source provider is our AWS code commit where we have stored our code. Click on the repository name code pipeline repo. Here we have our source code branches master and then just uh, keep this as default. Next, skip the build stage. We do not need this. Skip deploy provider is. Um, our AWS code deploy region is Ohio application name is demo app deployment group is uh, demo deployment group that we created click on next now we will review our pipeline settings we have the name and then the source stage is where our code pipeline repo is present where we have our source code then this is the build stage we have skipped this then we are our deploy stage we have code deploy and the application name and the deployment group create pipeline the pipeline will be created in just few seconds it is showing in progress so let's wait for some time source stage is uh, succeeded now deploy it is showing in progress deploy stage is also succeeded now we have successfully created our first pipeline so now to verify that our pipeline is running successfully we will go to our code commit repository and update our source code i'll just go into index.html i will edit, edit this file so just uh, right here hello world Now commit your changes. Index.html is committed to the master. Now we will go into our code pipeline. Let's see what is happening over here. It is also succeeded. Now, how to check this? Go to your EC2 instance and we have the public IPv4 DNS. Just copy this and paste it over here. So you can see our hello world uh, edit is successfully done. 
it means our pipeline is working correctly so this is how you create a very simple pipeline using the AWS service called as code pipeline.